Welcome to McLean Avenue in the beaches. It's a street with an old world charm, quiet and friendly, where neighbors seem to know each other by name, or at least by sight. At first glance, it would seem that life here is perfect. But under the surface lies a disagreement over a scarce commodity, on-street parking. McLean Avenue is made up of familiar long driveway homes with garages. But at the northern end are two apartment buildings with no on-site parking. Historically, tenants had access to McLean with the help of their City of Toronto 9C parking permits. But recently, the permits, and the signs reserving the eastern curb for it, were removed without warning or explanation. The tenants were suddenly left with no choice but to find alternate plans. Christine Farewell said she had to pay $9 more every night to park at a green pea lot down the street, raising her safety concerns that late at night. Heather Teal, another apartment resident, has received tickets for parking on McLean, and said she's still parking there and, they can throw my butt to jail if they want to. The change came after a poll of McLean Avenue residents conducted by City of Toronto staff two years ago, but no warning or explanation was given to the apartment tenants. And their only recourse, a petition to homeowners, isn't going particularly well. For example, resident Wayne Somerville said he voted against the parking permits last time and would do it again, pointing to drivers who park in McLean and don't move, treat it like a storage area. So the neighborhood dispute continues. Apartment tenants with no parking place to call their own, and homeowners who don't want their road overwhelmed with parked cars. As McLean Avenue continues to fight this battle over the parking spaces left on their street, the neighbors everywhere can't help but wonder, will they ever find a resolution to this affair?